Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan With Elise and today I am sharing with you the planner and the sticker book for the new Stress Management Collection from Happy Planner's Fall Release, which is on Thursday, September 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific over at thehappyplanner.com. Um, let's start with this planner because this is a new layout. If I can get the edge off this planner, sorry. Should have done that first. This planner comes with gold metal classic size discs. Really pretty. On this cover, choose where your energy goes. And I already love this just for the bright, sunshiny colors. It's really funny because next to me from um, a, a plan with me this week, I have Groovy Teacher, which like color-wise looks very similar. So I must have had a premonition about this. All right. Hello. This Happy Planner Stress Management Edition belongs to, and you put your name here. Look how pretty this is. I feel like just looking at, I mean, I'm a neutral girl, but looking at this year at a glance, makes me, I don't know, it just makes me happy. Like it's sunshiny and bright and it makes me happy. 2023 goals, 2024 goals. And then we have the perpetual calendar. So these really pretty tones of orange, pink, and yellow. And oh, interesting. Let's, let's explore. I feel like I need to zoom in closer on, well, we can't zoom in that much on this left side of the page. So January 2023 exercises and habits to support you in your daily routine, try to implement the following exercises and habits this month. Utilize the daily habit trackers each week to help keep yourself on track. Then you have breathing. Objective is calming mindfulness. Action, 90 seconds of belly breathing. Helpful tip to keep your mind from wandering. Focus on breathing deeply. <sighs> Let's do it together. And feeling each inhale and exhale. Mindfulness objective is mindfulness and awareness. The action during the daily action, focus on the activity itself and what you are sensing and feeling. Helpful tip, let go of automatic judgments your mind naturally makes. Example, good versus bad experiences. Then the priorities. By de-stressing, what two major tasks or projects will you be able to complete more efficiently? Then important dates, progress check-in. To prioritize and encourage your success, log your progress throughout the month. Write down what worked well for you or what needs work as you move forward. And then three dates. Then the January divider says do what makes you happy with this bright sunshine. And this is the monthly, like the little sun notes over here. And this is what the weekly is going to look like. So the daily exercises and habits that we went through over here are going to be listed at the top of each week and then a checklist, and then an open box. So the focus is breathing and mindfulness, 90 seconds each day. I think that you could do this. So that's going to be for the entire month. You could also even put in your own. So if you wanted to cover these up with small skinny box stickers, you could choose a different daily exercise and habit, and then use this as your regular planner whereas this will be something different. So if you love the idea and the colors and everything, but maybe you breathe enough <laughs> and you're mindful enough, you could kind of adjust this to customize it as your own a little bit. So that's the entire month of January. Then for February, the focuses are appreciation and care and reframing. It's okay to do what's best for you. You deserve peace. I am obsessed with these quotes and these colors. And you'll see appreciation and care and reframing. So one event. Reframing, objective, forgiveness, and compassion. Note at least one event daily. Looks like my, the sun. Nope, that's not working. Let's try that. Is that better? Hopefully it's not too bad with the sun here. Um, note at least one event daily that leaves you feeling agitated. Reframe your perspective of this event by changing the context of what happened. Example, a bad driver versus a driver who is distracted by personal grief. And that is February. So that is your one event. March, the journaling, um, journaling, the objective is reflection. The exercise is movement. So literally exercise, breathe in positivity and out negativity. And one entry in a journal and five minutes of exercise. April, 
the objective is confidence. The ob Oh, acknowledge success. Sorry, I'm messing this up. Acknowledge success. The objective is confidence. Set goals. The objective is planning. You always, wait, always, be always believe you can. You are truly amazing. That one took me a sec. <laughs> it's like one of those old word games. And then planning. So we're going to plan two goals and spend 90 seconds to acknowledge what you achieved today, not what you didn't get done. That's a good one. And I need that reminder. May. Repeat affirmations. The objective is to uplift. Visualization. The objective is determination and success. It's okay to be less than perfect. Just do your best. And this is how it is in the daily exercises and habits. This is really thoughtfully put together. June, rest and sleep. Obje objective is to improve sleep hygiene. Find the joy. Objective is positivity. Choose where your energy goes. Eight hours of sleep and laughter by finding jokes. I like that. <laughs> July, the uh, breathing and mindfulness. Embrace what today will bring. Two minutes of breathing and two minutes of mindfulness. August, appreciation and care and reframing for forgiveness and compassion. Be gentle with yourself. You are doing the best you can. Two minutes and two events to reframe. September, the journaling and movement. So some of these we're seeing repeated, balance over hustle. And I think what's really nice about it when it comes to setting a habit, especially, is I think it takes 30 days to make a habit consistent. So by keeping up with these, some of them will continue into future months versus like one month I'm doing this, the next month I'm doing this. Acknowledge success. The objective is confidence. Set goals. The objective is planning. October, trust your heart. Then November, repeat affirmations and visualization. Give yourself a high five. So three repetitions of affirmations and two minutes of visualization. And December, rest and sleep and finding the joy and positivity. It's okay to make mistakes, just grow from them. And we have laughter and eight hours of sleep. The inside, excuse me, back cover, pause, jot down a reminder to yourself. Pause. I'm going to pause for a sec. Feels like sunshine. Plan a happy life. Love this planner. This is a really great planner and I'd say almost a must have as we're all navigating this new world of stress. <laughs> Maybe stress has always been around. I don't know. Let's look at the sticker book. All right. So we have this feels like sunshine sticker book, which of course coordinates with the stress management layout. And again, when I saw this on the Happy Planners Live, I was so excited, so pretty. Always believe you can choose where your energy goes, balance over hustle, do what makes you happy, breathe, it's okay. And then 90 second exercise, five minute exercise, and those repeated. Breathe in positivity and out negativity. You are doing great, breathe. Embrace what today will bring, do what makes you happy. You are truly amazing, this bright sunburst. Become the change. Allow yourself room to grow. Everything in its time. Difficult doesn't mean impossible. Dreamer and don't give up. Be gentle with yourself. You are doing the best you can. Give yourself a high five. Go where you feel the most alive. Give it all you got. Trust your heart. Always believe you can. Become the change. Allow yourself room to grow. Everything in its time. Difficult doesn't mean impossible. Dreamer and don't give up. Look at these washi strips. Oh my goodness. They're like groovy type. And these are interesting. They're kind of like monthly because you'll be able to see the date up here, but you could use them, of course, in your weekly as well. Follow your heart. Do what makes you happy. Enjoy the simple things. Take a day off. I wish. It's not always that easy. Believe in yourself. Some sidebar stickers, or of course, you could just put this in. I would assume that these fit these sections right here. Indeed, they do. Okay, sorry. Ooh, camera got a little shaky there. My desk is unstable. Okay, she believed she could, so she did. Hello today, be true to you. Don't expect to see a change if you don't make one. That's a good quote. That's a good quote. Deep breath. Go for it. Focus on your goal. Don't look in any direction but ahead. Choose where your energy goes. Believe in yourself. 
and recharge. It's okay to do what's best for you. It's okay to be less than perfect. It's okay to make some mistakes. It's okay to take a much needed break. It's okay to be less than of more of these, the same ones, but different colors. And then I love these. Check in with yourself. What is your current stress level on a scale of one to 10? How are you feeling? Finish with a 90 second breathing exercise. More of those with 90 second and five minute exercises. And then focus on breathing. How I feel before 30 seconds, 90 seconds additional time, how I feel after. Focus on gratitude. Focus on compassion. Focus on journaling. Focus on planning. So we're getting back to the focuses here from the monthly and weeklies. Focus on affirmation. Focus on confidence. Focus on sleep and rest. Focus on movement. Focus on positivity. Woo, look at these. These are clear washi strips. These are crazy, but fun. I can see some really creative spreads up ahead. Oh, look at this colorway. I didn't expect to see that. That's pretty. Hello today. Celebrate small victories. Recharge. Breathe and let go. Your mindset matters. Rest day. Busy day. Lazy day. Reflect. Love today. Stay present. And different emotion faces. I don't want to call them happy faces. Let's say different emotion faces. We have sad and meh. We're just going to call it meh. <laughs> Love these quotes. Always believe you can. She believed she could, so she did. Focus on your goal. Don't look in any direction but ahead. Feels like sunshine. Go where you feel the most alive. Don't expect to see a change if you don't make one. Follow your heart. Same quotes with some gold foil. Happy, it's okay, just breathe. Little rainbows and some fun rainbows here. Same quotes as we saw before, but like it's okay to be less than perfect, but with gold foil. And that is it on this sticker book. I am excited about this collection and I can't wait to use these. Release is Thursday, September 8th, 9 a.m. Pacific over at thehappyplanner.com. Coupon codes for buy more, save more are in the description, which means that the more you spend, the more you save, sort of. The more you, let, let's reframe that. The more you spend, the higher the discount code, the higher percentage off the discount is. And my affiliate link is in the description if you are shopping and it's a great way to support creators that doesn't cost you anything extra. My phone is shaky, so I think it's time to go. Um, but make sure you check out all other videos to see what else is available at this release. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.